Welcome YouTubers to episode 3 of 40 Year Old Gymnast. As you can see here, this episode starts with some stretching. It's most definitely not my strength, but I've got to get some leaps and spins in my floor routine. So here I'm attempting a change leg leap, trying to get that nice splits in the middle. And I think it's going to take me a few weeks before I'm there. But like everything, it's just about persevering and those small steps to get towards that big goal. And it looks like I'll be settling for a single spin. Ugh, noticed on this recording how much extra weight I'm still holding on my legs. Diet, diet, diet. So we start off with some of the challenges that I set myself for this week. The first one being to be able to do a Sukahara again in a different venue, but eventually I managed to get this onto a mat, which I was absolutely thrilled with. These soul circles are my nemesis. You would not believe how hard I find it to go all the way around the bar. I need this move so I can do an exchange from the bottom bar to the top bar. But I find it so hard to do the full rotation and I'm trying a hundred different things and nothing seems to be working. You can see my coach Chloe here. She's barely giving me a push, but without her, I am nothing. On this next one, I tried to push the bar, but as I did, it actually meant when my leg got released. It was terrifying. Just like with everything, it's a head game for me. So I am practicing, practicing, practicing. Eventually, I know I'll get there. Even when I don't make it all the way around like this. Now my shoulder is finally getting better, but I am still nowhere near handstand on that cast. I'm still trying my best though to transfer this to my straight back way because I need the cast to handstand in order to be attempting to do a proper giant by myself. My cast is definitely getting better though because I went over the top on this one. And so in these giants, what I'm really working on is trying to get round this bar by myself. I used to be able to do that, but with the bottom bar in, which you can see that elastic strap, it just completely changes my technique. And I still haven't got over by myself yet. So on the tumble, I've been working on my stamina, just powering through these tumbles, working on doing three in a row in under one minute. Transferring any of my tumbles onto this hard floor is really challenging though. It requires so much more strength and effort. I'm quite happy with the fact that I'm now doing my round off tucks onto the main floor now. But I do still get freaked out and you can see me doing this weird little run out. That happens a lot. So this is my post after gymnastics. I don't normally do this. So I was pretty ill last week. Got quite got a cough on Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday was totally out of commission. Didn't even go to gymnastics on Thursday. So I ended up missing that session. Um, and then I've come back today still feeling a bit rough. But I think when you're doing something like, you know, say you're running, you can run a little bit gentler or whatever, and you're still doing the training. When you come to gymnastics and you're not fully bringing it, oh my God, does it affect you? Like, you have to be ready. If you want to learn new things, if you want to, if you want to do stuff. I mean, I had a low blood sugar as well today, so that's not helped. That first week was epic. I got so much done. Second week, started losing weight. This third, now we're in the fourth week, has been if not really moving on that much and a bit frustrating really in a number of areas to do with like my progress. So I am going to keep trying. You have to be 100% in when you're doing this stuff. And so when I have a good session, when I'm posting good videos, just remember how much that takes because that doesn't come naturally to me. That's It's really, really hard work. Um, and it's scary and uh, you know I landed a bit funny on a few things today Thursday I'm gonna set my mind in a different place and I'm gonna absolutely bring it and just to say sleep I haven't been sleeping very well and my god what again weight loss has not come off not really progressing at the gymnastics my mood hasn't been what I want it to be sleep for me is so vital I'm gonna go home have a great nap by Thursday and we'll be on it. So I need to get handstand straight back over on myself, ready for my handstand giants. And here I go, they are coming along slowly but surely. It's my third attempt, I'm gonna go higher this time. 
While this isn't a perfect handstand, it is definitely something I can now start doing my giants from. So this is a great step from a shoulder injury, which has been holding me back for nearly six months now. And another achievement this week is to be doing giants with someone different. That's me freaking out. That's me doing some weird funky little prep. And this is me eventually going for it. It just takes a long while to get used to new people being there. And my next challenge is to be trusting the guy at East London to be able to support me because there he will be able to support me to do a giant between the bar. And if I achieve that, I can't tell you how excited I will be. I have never in my life done a giant between the bar. I do question sometimes if I'm ever going to get this bar myself, but I'm I'll never give up. I'm not going to kick a soft bar, am I? So why? Just go round twice. You're going to do it straight back away. Anyway, I'm going to do some over there. Thank you. And finally, after a rather unsuccessful tumbling session on Tuesday, I managed to all oh, run out, as you can see there, but eventually get my round of Arabian onto this hard floor. And finally, it's about getting that front summit walk out nice and consistent so that I can start doing that round off Arabian afterwards. It certainly is getting there and I'm committing to that front summit walk out more and more each time. But I can't lie, it took me the entire session right down to the last minute before I finally went for that front swing walk out around the Flick Arabian. Yay! That was a perfect one to finish all.